Hey, I am Three Plus Key, your favorite social worker. Welcome back. Uh, I just wanted to hop on here and talk about the social climate we are currently in as a reaction to the political climate we are currently in and um, just talk about how to proceed in a in a loving and christ-focused manner so i'll start with about a week ago i wrapped up an interaction with a comment that like i said will not be published ever because i don't do the negativity over this way but how it unfolded um somebody said no one likes social workers that was the comment and i'm your favorite social worker and they felt the need to you know let me know that's not what anybody likes and so i said you know that's okay right um there's also law enforcement emergency personnel medical personnel why don't you take this that you have against social workers and volunteer with one of those agencies like you can two things can happen at the same time you could not like the social workers and then channel that energy into a, a, a separate agency and um that didn't go over very well and they sent me a very long um, multiple comments and um it finalized with saying that i'm a traitor to black people because <laughs> I said to volunteer with the police. Um, and so it's a little out of context, I think, the way this person processed it. And that's fine. But again, there there was a perception of me. One of the things was I'm a bleeding heart liberal. Um, okay, so th so that's the perception of me. And this was how this person chose to interact <laughs> with this perception and so that's interesting but i don't think that's too far off in the way of biases uh we all have biases whenever i come across somebody that's like i'm not racist i don't you know i love everybody it's like so what that indicates to me is that you for sure have not thought about or processed the totality of experiences in your life. And granted, we're not taught to do that. I am, I, I am a social worker. So like it's what has happened in, in the course of my profession and professional development and this type of thing. I wouldn't have thought to do so, um, on my own either so i think that's fine but the fact still remains that we do have prejudices and where that can get a little wonky is when those pre prejudices turn into discrimination so i have my own biases that i'm aware of and the way i put it is not everyone's welcome in my home and there may be some who are even viewing this and they're like but you say you're a christian and you say you're a social worker and you're supposed to accept everybody and love everybody and everybody and anybody can come into your home and i would probably push back on that my home is a point of safety and security and there's certain behaviors um of particular groups if if you want to do this that and the other i just don't want it around me in my particular private space so an example would be i'm not a big drinker so what probably wouldn't occur is me regularly having someone over that showed up drunk every single time 
that's probably not it. Or another, I used to smoke the Newports, baby. And actually, I don't think, I think under duress, I might have have a Newport. It's been years, but I don't put it past myself. I don't want to. But for that, if you smoke cigarettes, you are for sure not to be in my private space. Now, we go to church together. Of course, I want to worship with you and, and fellowship with you and get to know you as a person. But your behaviors that are not agreeable with, with me, uh, that cause offense to me, you would just do that elsewhere. I'll, I'll, I might even go to your house, right? But I need safety and security in my spot. And so for that, there are people uh, who do not want, a, I'll use myself, a black person in their private space. They do not want a woman in their private space. They don't want a Christian in their private space. And, you know, um, of course they need to process that, right? Like you, you gotta, you gotta figure, you gotta figure that out. But at the same time, I would never, me, myself, uh, a black female Christian would never go into somebody else's house and they start acting up and I stay and attempt to dictate what they do in, in their space. Public spaces, go for it. You know what I mean? Oh, let me clarify. By go for it, I mean we need to be respectful. Ultimate respect, right? Use our manners. Oblige. You go in first, hold the door open, smile, be friendly. Um, and, and really these things should occur in your private space as well, but you are not, it's not mandated that, that you have somebody step in, into your, your own space. Um, there's a note that could be made for, for fellowshipping. And again, fellowshipping doesn't necessarily, hospitality doesn't necessarily have to be in directly inside of your home if there is a threat if there is a um a threat to you and that could be an emotional threat as well however like i said respect and love we are called to do so without caveat so whether you're i'll use myself again whether you're drunk you're smoking your cigarette you are xyz that i just don't care for as behaviors um I owe you respect. I will respect you. I will love you. Does that, I don't, I don't know if you're tracking with that, but that's what happened uh, with that situation. So anyway, uh, most recently this past week, I was meeting with a family and they are Native American. And um, I took the child and I said, we were we were in a store. We're at the good food store. And I said, I'm going to the police station after this to file a report for XYZ. Do you want to help me pick out cookies? And so the child picked out uh, a big bag of cookies for the police. And I thought that was great. The child was stoked because they lack bias. So I go to the police station and start off with my bag of cookies. And um, I don't know how much they like that. I don't know if it was honestly, this is me breaking character. I don't know if it was like, suspicious or, or what, <laughs> or if they loved it. Missoula Police Department, if you loved your cookies. Let me know. Somebody comment below. <laughs> I don't know if they threw it away or what. Because I'm, you know, I'm not everybody's. Not everybody knows me as a social worker necessarily. Um, but anyway, 
Uh, so I dropped off the cookies and, and conducted my business there and, and that was that. And it was a perfectly fine interaction. Um, I accomplished what I went there to do. And by the end of it, I will say when I entered, there was that kind of cop thing that they do the, you don't know me. You don't know why I'm here. You do need to be on guard. That's your job as a cop. Okay. Uh, and so here I enter and I tend to joke around a lot. Uh, and I'm super friendly and very outgoing. It's my job to be disarming. And so by the end of it, there, there were two cops right there and, and they're smiling, um, and just being very friendly, reciprocating the energy that I was giving to them. And so that was that. And so most recently today, I was volunteering at the fair at the bingo booth. And, you know, there's an older white guy there, older couple, actually. Um, and we'll just fast forward. The guy, the older guy had a, a MAGA hat on, Make America Great Again. And again, right, I'm always just so curious about people's perceptions of me and how they want to interact in that regard. But um, I'll fast forward to the end of it. I was calling them my favorite family. I was just joking around because they weren't winning. <laughs> they were they they stayed the whole time and didn't win anything at all. Um, and then the guy had a shirt similar to mine and I was calling him twin. And um, it carried on to the other table. Somebody said, oh, I'm from. Illinois too and yada yada and it was just this friendly thing and so you have your MAGA hat on so that's so I mean I, you know some people would opt to be mean to him uh, some people would opt to uh, especially given that situation would have opted to be mean to me uh missoula is 88.8 percent .8 white very homogenous and you know there's not a, there there hasn't been until relatively recently exposure to other cultures and other races and people uh carry carry their own biases right and so at the end of the day I'm not here to teach you about black people. <laughs> I'm not here. You know, the point is, can we operate in respect and and love? Can we can we ask that the the Holy Spirit enter us and that we're being gentle and kind and joyous and loving and patient with one another? And it's funny at one point his wife was like, can you pray for me? Because one thing about me, I'm probably talking about Jesus at some point. I, it's what it is. <laughs> and so I must have said something. She was like, can you pray for me that I'll win a bingo or whatever? So I did. I said, uh, put my hand on her shoulder, said a quick prayer for prosperity, uh, excuse me, prosperity if it's in if, if it's in your will, Lord. And then somebody said that was at the table, like, this is gambling. <laughs> God's not going to bless that. I was like, oh, right, you are. <laughs> and then MAGA hat guy was like, well, you know, it's for a good cause, you know. Um, I just wanted to say that, the, just to sum it all up. The social climate is tense right now. And as time progresses toward the uh, specifically the presidential election, it will continue to escalate in its in its tension. We're, you know, we'll all be a little on guard. And I just want to encourage everybody like the first commandment. Love God. Second greatest commandment, love others. It's as simple, it's as simple as that. There's not a, there's not a caveat. 
there's not there's not even a caveat of, of a different religion which would have been appropriate in 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 the context you know there's no caveat whatsoever my guy honor the lord you can start with first corinthians 13 how to love others and then pray for the holy spirit to give you good fruit good fruit friend that you extend and pass out remember oprah you get a car you get a car you you get a love you get some gentleness you get kindness we are called to be set apart holy means set apart so do that my friend do that be different be the difference be set apart in your respect outdo one another in honor i want to be more loving than you i want to be more patient than you haha -ha. watch me be more generous than you right that should be the vibe that's the vibe it's a vibe it's a vibe right so anyway i would love to say examine your biases and blah 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 you're probably not going to do that what you could do is quit being a jerk to muhammad your neighbor you know if somebody wears a maga hat unless they like <laughs> assault you like can you just say good morning you can leave it at that you can good morning or somebody has a, a black lives matter or whatever a bernie hat on by or uh excuse me uh harris ticket type shirt good morning hey how are you how's your weekend okay friend we can do this we can do this christ 2024 hashtag christ 2024 i am three plus key your favorite social worker please subscribe to this channel um comment below what you think about all of this can you do it can we do it together um don't forget to like the video and please share it to believers unbelievers anybody and everybody subscribe all right i will talk to you later